Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing what is quite possibly the most expensive work truck ever made. Before we get into this video though, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Tim Daly Ford here in Spanish Fork, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And then I do wanna give a quick disclaimer. It is extremely windy, like way windier than it normally is. So sorry if the audio quality in this video is kind of choppy during certain sections. I have a dead cat on the microphone, but there's only so much a dead cat can do when it looks like there might be a tornado or something. Anyways, let's get into it. So powering this truck is the high output power stroke, which puts out a whopping 500 horsepower and then 1200 pound feet of torque. It's a 6.7 liter turbo diesel V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, before we go over the front end, I do wanna mention if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, this has the Super Duty's new hood design, which looks very similar to the previous version, but still looks cool. And then it was Super Duty stamped into the front. Now this has the STX package, which I'm a huge fan of. You guys can see that the lights are darkened with the bezel, and then you do have LED lights with this instead of the base halogen lights. Notice the front grille also blacked out with the Ford logo. We also have fog lights here at the bottom. You guys can see tow hooks on the front end. And then we've got the air dam here at the very bottom. And when you put it all together, I think this truck looks absolutely fantastic. I'm a huge fan of this new STX package because of how cool it makes a quote unquote base model truck look. Now coming around the side here, our time wheel setup is 275, 70, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And you guys can see the wheels are also all blacked out as part of this package. Now on the side here, we've got our STX badge, F350. And then of course we've got the red 6.7L power stroke badge to signify this has the high output. And then this has the trailer tow mirrors and then notice how the door handles match the trim of the mirrors. We've got the new bedside step here with the Super Duty. And then popping into the rear, you guys can see the chunky leaf springs, what we'll call it here, for the F350. And then taking a look at the full side view here, this is where you guys will see that this has the eight foot box and then it's a Super Crew. Now taking a look at the key fob itself, you guys can see we've got our unlock function or lock function, remote start. You got the Ford logo on the back and got the little uh, flip out key as well. And then popping into the bed area, first off, this is not dampened, so you do have to lower it down yourself. This one has Ford's bed step system. So notice how this pulls out. That's a little step that you can step onto, and then you've got the handle that comes out as well. And the thing I like about Ford's bed step system is it's super easy to like get it into place. It's really lightweight. Um, Chevy's like multi-pro setup, as cool as it is, a little bit more complex to use. Anyways, you've got the LED lights here in the bed and then we have a full power outlet in the bed as well and then being an eight foot bed i mean it just goes on forever and ever now something to note lifting up the tailgate with the bed step it's a little bit heavier now you notice the fx4 sticker here and then look at the tail lights on the new super duty very distinctive it's one of the ways that i can tell a new super duty from the previous version is actually the tail lights and then you got the bumper steps as well as the parking sensors here on the rear end and then the receiver hitch here in the very center and putting it all together, again, all blacked out. This is like the Batmobile of pickup trucks. It's really cool. Let me know what you think about the design though. Now popping inside, you guys can see here with the trim at the top of the door, but look at the padding down below where you're gonna rest your arm. That's usually not what you see in a quote unquote work truck. You usually just see, you know, hard touch everywhere. Anyways, got the cup holder here and then more storage down below. And then here are the seats you guys can see with the cloth trim that goes down the center portion and then just like the new f-150 you can lift this up um, and then this little strap is actually what you pull if you lift it up all the way because that'll let, like unlock it basically but flat loading floor underneath now legroom here in the back is solid i find it interesting there's no storage pockets on the back of the seats that's that's interesting um anyways we've got some charging port action down below and then you guys can see the rear window it looks like this one's actually power i'll double check when we go up front um, but anyways headroom headroom solid now taking a look at the front door panel, you guys can see again with the padding there, we're gonna rest your arm. All the window controls, front two are automatic. We've got our mirror adjustments here, door lock and unlock. And then the mirrors themselves do have blind spot monitoring. And then look at all the storage here at the bottom. And then taking a look at the front seat, you guys can see with all of the trim that goes down the center. And then the seats themselves are manually adjustable. We've got the parking brake right here. We've got our light controls. And then you guys can see the steering wheel itself is manually adjustable. Got one of these. 
Now taking a look at the steering wheel itself, you got the controls here for the center stack, your phone controls, you've got your volume, voice command controls, cruise control as well, and then your turn signal windshield wiper stock. And then we do have the new style column shifter. It does have the manual function here at the top, so you can basically press those buttons to shift the gears yourself if you want. Now taking a look at the gauge cluster itself, you guys can see mostly analog, but we do have the screen here in the center, which we can use to scroll through different menus, see different bits of info on the truck and systems within the truck as well. And then this is also where we're gonna see the drive modes. So we've got a normal slippery, we've got an off-road mode, and on the other side, we've got a tow haul mode and then eco mode as well that we can go through. Now in reverse, this actually has Ford's 360 camera system. So first off, we got the zoom function right there. Now we got the bird's eye view, which if you press that little magnifying glass that lets you zoom in different parts of the truck. And then you have the other camera views. So notice we got like a bed view, for example, you got the rear view. Now the thing I find interesting about Ford's camera system is it doesn't let you see out of the front if you're in reverse. You have to either be in drive or park. And then this is where we can see the front views here out of the truck, at least to my knowledge. And then also look, we got the side views too. It's a really good camera system. And well, speaking of buttons up top, you got the diesel exhaust brake, you guys can see here with the camera. You got that for the hazard lights, stability control, and then you get your hill descent control. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, first off response time with the screen is really solid. And you can see that we've got our pro power on board with this particular one. And then my favorite part about the infotainment screen, other than the fact that it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, is the random storage cubby down below it. Now we've got trailer brake controls integrated from the factory. And then you guys can see our drive mode slash drive line select area. So we've got two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low, and then your locking differential in the rear. And then we have our radial climate control section right here, single zone climate with this truck. And then you got a bunch of little outlet covers and everything throughout. And then you can see more storage space at the very bottom. Now this one has the bench seat configuration, but notice that we've got the little sliding thing here. So this slides backwards and forwards over. I think it's uh, pretty cool. It's kind of like the uh, work bench bench seat. And notice the cup holders there in the very back if you slide it forward. Um, but anyways, picking up the seat itself, you can see cloth trim just like the rest of the seats. And then there is more storage underneath the seat. Now I've got the storage cubby at the top and then here at the bottom of the glove box, you guys can see that one is lockable by the way. Now I've got the manual mirror dimmer here at the top. And then yes, it does have a power setting window for this one. That's pretty nifty. And then we've got six different auxiliary switches up top. So here's our window sticker for this Super Duty. Again, this is built off of the XL, which is like the base truck. Why I call this a work truck, right? Um, now, this has quite a few packages added to it. So first off, high output power stroke, almost $12,500. STX appearance package, over $5,000. And then there's a bunch more options that this one has, like the Pro Power on board, for example, and it all adds up. So base MSRP in this truck, 51,815. After all options, this one stickers for $75,270, which officially, at least on the Ben Hardy channel, makes this the most expensive work truck I believe that I have reviewed. Outside of that, there's actually that Ram dually that I think was like $80,000. So maybe if I find one of these that's a dually STX, it'll probably be over $80,000. So to quickly cap things off for today's video, and by the way, if you want to see driving impressions with the high output power stroke, I already did a video, I think like just over a week ago. So just look up Ben Hardy high output power stroke, and I'm sure that it will pull up. But anyways, I want to explain why this truck exists, at least in my opinion. So I've seen quite a few of these as I've been going out and reviewing trucks. And I find this very interesting because whenever a new vehicle is released, what I'll typically see is like the first people that buy them will buy like fully loaded versions. So like I would expect to see a lot of Lariats and Limiteds and I've seen quite a few Lariats. I actually haven't seen any Limiteds or Platinums yet, but I will be seeing those in the future, hopefully. Um, but I've seen a lot of these STXs. And I think the reason why I've seen a lot of these STXs is, is because a lot of people are seeing the prices, and it's not just on the new Super Duty. If look at how much a new Ram Cummins costs, look at how much a new Chevy Silverado Duramax costs. Like all the pickup trucks have increased in price by quite a bit. Uh, and so I think that Ford is really smart to release this package because this package gives a lot of truck buyers exactly what they want, which is a, you know, I wouldn't call this bare bones because I mean, it still has climate controls. It still has like an infotainment system with a 360 camera system. It's got blind spot running for goodness sake, but this doesn't have like leather upholstery and massaging seats and all the other stuff you get with the more loaded up truck, but it still looks really cool on the outside. And so I think that Ford was genius for making this package. I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna be like 70 something thousand dollars for that. But you know, at the same time, 
it's a lot better than the uh, you know ninety to one hundred thousand dollar price tag that you'll see with a limited or a platinum. And again, same thing with Ram and same thing with Chevy. Their fully loaded trucks are up there in price as well. But anyways. Let me know what you guys think about this package. I think this was a genius move by Ford, and I think that this package is actually gonna help Ford sell a lot of trucks because there's a lot of people out there that want a truck that looks cool on the outside, and then they don't really care about the amenities on the inside. They just want, again, exactly what this truck provides. I'll see you.